Oh, hello. I'm live. Hi, how's it going? Wait, am I? Okay, cool. So, hey everyone. Um, I'm Yoda Cage, and this is Koro Rimpa Marvel Mania, and I think I'm good to give a countdown to start the run. Um, so, I guess I'll count down in uh, three, two, one, go. Alright, cool. So, um, this is Marble Mania, uh, Cobra Rimpa Marble Mania, as I just mentioned. It is a pretty unknown launch title for the Wii. It came out in 2006 in Japan. Um, it's similar to a lot of other ball rolling games, um, as you've probably seen before, like um, Monkey Ball or like Marble Blast, where um, I'm just rolling the marble, marble across the stage. Um, but one key difference is you can see I'm doing all the movement with the Wii Remote. Um, and I have full 360 degrees of movement, as you can see. And all that control of movement lets me do stuff like this. Yeah. So, this game does not have a jump button. So, any jumps that I'm doing, I'm basically bumping up my wrist and manipulating the stage to kind of launch me where I want the marble to go. So, pretty much how each level works is I have to get all the, the orange crystals and then reach the, the goal. So, optimizing levels basically comes down to how can I just get to all the crystals as fast as possible with the stage that's given to me. And so very often that involves, um, in terms of routing levels, it's like, okay, what are large portions of the level that don't have any crystals? And you can usually skip portions like that and just go from crystal to crystal as fast as possible. So um, right now I'm doing the levels in park, which um, have some small skips in general, but most of them are like five to 10 seconds long in terms of their length. So, um, it's definitely the shortest world by far. Usually most of my runs get done this world in about three minutes. So, let's see if I can maintain that pace. Um, so, and so far you haven't, um, you've seen a couple levels with, uh, cycles. Um, so generally, routing levels also includes not having to deal with cycles as much as possible. So, um, that's another, um, concept that goes into it. This level... Um, as you just saw, what I did there was called a reset, and basically, in the, in the game, if you, oh, come on, you can press the A button to reset back to the beginning of the level, or back to the last checkpoint, if there's checkpoints in the level, and essentially, if you, um, and then if there's certain levels where if you reset after getting some crystals, then you can go to a different part of the level and get other crystals, it is faster to do that um, in terms of routing the level. It, so, as you saw in the last level, I went up, got two crystals, reset, and then did the rest of the level. So, um, there's a one second animation um, that um, takes place after you reset, but normally um, it, it doesn't really matter that much if you can use it to break the routing of levels. Alright, so it's just it's the last level of park. Some pretty good jumps throughout there to finish strong. It's about three minutes of park. All right, and I forgot to tweet about the run again. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> All right, here's a pretty good, uh, pretty big skip if I can get it on this level. Ah dang. All right, so optimally to do this level, you level you just jump up straight to the top and skip the moving platform, but it that's a pretty hard skip to do. Um, so it, it only takes a few seconds. So this is Candyland. Um, obviously the second world of the game, just mm, different music, different aesthetics, like um, different types of platforms obviously that like candy and everything food related so and it just has a much different level layouts and there's a couple on um, they have like different moving platforms and a couple different mechanics. One thing that's introduced is in this, well it's not introduced, um, it's used a bit more heavily for a couple levels is cannons, although I'm gonna skip them as well. <laughs> Because I did a, couple, uh, a cannon skip in the first world, you're going to see a bit more in this world as well. Alright, there we go. Cool. So yeah, again, this world has a bunch of shorter levels as well. Um, slightly longer than Park, but it's just... A lot of these just come with hitting this ball skips throughout the levels and just optimizing your movement throughout them. And minimizing deaths. All right, I think this is cannon level coming up. It's probably one of the hardest in this world. Let's see if I can get everything first try. All 
Alright, and then one final jump. Oh, come on. Give me the jump. Nice. Alright, so basically, if you go into cannons and get shot out of the cannons, um, it's a couple second animation that's slow, so it's faster to just jump over all the cannons and go to the platforms that I need to go to. Alright, it's a couple cycles on this level, but they work out pretty well. Alright, thanks for the luck, everyone. Familiar faces in chat. <laughs> Alright, so it's just another pretty straightforward level. Um, there's a couple levels like this where it's kind of annoying, where you move backwards for a lot of the level. And another thing to note about this game is, like, in a game like, like Monkey Ball, for instance, the camera moves with you. In this game, it's always the same angle. So, like, if you have to do backwards movement, it can be annoying. You kind of just have to know where, you're gonna, where you have to go and just have pinpoint movement for certain skips. It's just kind of something that got to deal with throughout the run, like this. Yeah, okay, so I went too far to the right. I can just do an easy backup here. So skips like that, where you can't see where you're going, it's definitely a lot more difficult. Alright. One of the shortest levels in the game. It's a few crystals, if I'm not bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Alright, good enough. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of this game um, pretty much deals with, in terms of full game runs, is if you mess up a hard skip, which is, happens pretty often, what's the best backup that you can do to get back to where you were as fast as possible, right? So, um, some are easier than others, obviously. That one that I did a couple levels ago with the maze, it's just straight down. So I can just, if I hold the right angle, then I can just go straight to the goal. Alright, so here's Daytown. Um, oh my goodness, alright, I can see, like, this is another backup right here. Oh, and I flew straight off, nice. So yeah, I, I have a lot of experience in this game, so I kind of have a pretty good idea of if I die at any given point, what's the safest and fastest way um, to get back to where I was. So in this world, you're going to see um, a few new mechanics introduced. Um, you already saw, um, actually no, you haven't seen yet. Conveyor belts are going to come up. Um, you're going to see checkpoints um, um, for the first time. And there's one other mechanic that I'm forgetting. Also, I'm playing really poorly on this level. <laughs> Alright, let's see. That's, that's a pretty good backup. Alright, that didn't go well, but it's whatever. Alright, so. 23. Alright, this is... Yeah, this is the first in, um, instance of conveyor belts. So basically, they just give you a constant velocity in whichever direction they're moving. So... Constant velocity left, although I'm not I don't even go on it for this level. <laughs> but yeah, they're gonna they're usually not that difficult to get around or to just um go on top of and just move along. Alright. Another level moving down for the most part, so it's kind of annoying, but it's pretty short if I if I play it well. Alright, nice. And then fall straight to the end. Oh, another thing to note, um, in the top left of the screen, you can kind of see the, the timer, and right below that, the time with the crown is my current ILPB. Um, and I'm running on the file that I've done all my IL grinds on, so you can kind of just see, um, compare the time I get to my ILPB to kind of get a sense for, like, how fast I could be going on each level. Although it's not a great indication sometimes, because some levels have IL-specific routes. Um, and to know, I guess that's another thing to mention, now that I'm kind of brought up that I'm running on, on a completed file. I'm running this on New Game Plus for a couple of reasons. It's the main category of the game. One reason is that you start with all the levels unlocked, right? So, there's a couple set of, of levels, dang it, notably Space and um, Secrets, where you have additional unlock requirements. Oh my goodness, I, I was a bit greedy for that backup, so hold on, let me just play it a bit safe here. Yeah. So, um, to mitigate that and to make it give it more of like the any percent feel, um, we start with all the levels unlocked on a completed file. And another reason that we do the New Game Plus is that we, um, I can use this ball that I'm using right now called the Flash Ball. And you don't unlock this on like a normal file until you've beaten most of the levels in the game, so we use a completed file to start with it. What's important about using, being able to use this ball is you can edit this ball's stats. So there's four stats, response, slide, speed, and bounce. 
And what I do is everything except for a balance, I basically maximize those stats to um, make the ball as fast as possible, to be able to go through the levels as fast as possible. And I minimize the bounce stat, so whenever I'm jumping across maps and stuff, or just getting unwanted collisions, I, I don't bounce as far away from the intended location as much, so it's just, it just allows me to control the movement of the ball more easily. So that just gives you a sense for why this is on New Game Plus. Alright, so this, this level's kind of annoying. Coming up on the end of Daytown soon. And you already saw a couple levels where there was a use of checkpoints. And later, in some longer levels, you're going to see the same exploit, um, not really an exploit, kind of a strategy, where I can get some checkpoint, get some crystals, reset back to the checkpoint, and then con and continue in a, a different direction of the level. It's just a way to optimize routing for levels. Alright, oh, th this was the last mechanic of this world, by the way, added. Um, magnifying glasses. If you touch it, you just die. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I usually... Definitely the optimal play is to not do that. <laughs> um, and also another thing to mention is if you die a natural way in this game, uh, like for instance, instead of resetting, you like fall off the level or go into, run into a magnifying glass or hit lava later on, then you have to wait like a full two seconds before you start the level again. So usually if you know you're gonna, gonna die, you wanna reset the level as fast as possible just to save like a little bit of time. All right, so this is Toyland. Um, Gonna have a couple, I don't know if there's new mechanics off the top of my head, but I know it's just gonna be generally longer levels with more checkpoints and just more places to die. Um, there's a couple levels in here where um, the levels are pretty long, but there's not as many crystals. Oh, come on. Come on, give me this backup. There, that was a bit of a better backup. Um, so generally, oh, come on. Pff, down here now. If the levels are long and there's not a lot of crystals, um, it's generally easier generally easier to break levels like that, right? And I'm dying way more often than I should. Oh, come on. <laughs> some levels just give me a lot of trouble for some reason. But yeah, so you're going to see later on in Toyland, there's really long levels with not too many, um, too many crystals that I can just beat really fast. Yeah, dying is definitely not optimal. It's definitely... If you die a certain way, if you basically press the A button and control when you die instead of letting the stage kill you, then that's more optimal. So, <laughs> go out on my own terms, right? <laughs> Alright, that's probably the shortest level in Toyland, and then I think 36 is log, or 35 is log rail. Yeah, okay. Another magnifying glass, so I just gotta be careful around that. And we'll be good to go. Nice. So yeah, just skipping different portions of levels where there's no crystals. Um, and that's going to become a lot more apparent. This level, the routing for this level gets broken completely. Because the level's pretty big, but there's only five crystals. So I literally just go to all the crystals as fast as possible, and skip most of the level, and then just finish. <laughs> so, <laughs> being that level in under 10 seconds, instead of like, it would literally be like 30 seconds or more with the casual route. Alright, let's see if I can get this skip here. It's a pretty tough skip here and there. Alright, nice, got it. So general, basically that skip I have to fall straight down into that crystal since I'm already resetting back to the start of the level anyway. If I get that then I don't have to get it after the reset so it takes a few seconds. That was a really bad death. <laughs> wow, that was basically the worst part to die on that level because it was right before a checkpoint. That's okay. Alright, jump over the gap. Here. And here. Alright, a couple pretty major deaths in Toyland, but Toyland definitely ramps up the difficulty, so not too surprised. Alright, so this level's another level that gets completely destroyed. I'm basically gonna skip most of it. I'm doing the very start. Reset. Just go straight to this crystal over here. Um, get this crystal, and then jump straight to the end, and it skips like 80% of the level or something crazy. <laughs> Just big levels that don't have many crystals are just get completely blown up. Alright. This level's a bit longer, but it has 10 crystals and they're pretty spread out, so there's not too much in terms of skips here. There's one decent one. Oh, come on. Alright. This is an annoying backup. There we go. I'm being a bit ambitious with my backups right now. I'll 
I should generally try to play it a bit safer overall. Alright, so the one skip is just go over here and land in the pipe here. Alright. And just finish it off. Cool. Oh, this is perfectly reasonable, that's why. <laughs> At least for me. <laughs> I've played this game for many years, so a lot of this I'm just used to. Alright, there. Oh, come on. Alright, I'll have a pretty fast backup here. Nice. And there's a pretty hard skip at the end of the level that saves five seconds, and I'll see if I can get it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I mess it up. I'm only going to try it like once, maybe twice. Perfect execution. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. That skip I actually only started recently, relatively recently implementing, so I'm glad I hit that. Alright, so that was Toyland, and here we go into Night Town. Um, there's only five levels in this world, just because they're uh, most of most of them are a bit um, longer and more difficult, so they didn't include as many. Nice, got that skip too. Basically, you can just bounce straight off the um, the crystal there and get straight to the goal. Oh come on! All right, it's a couple small skips throughout this level as well. This is definitely where um, this world and the next world uh, space. There's definitely a lot of huge routing um, breaks, uh, similar to the Toyland. Oh my goodness, alright. Here, back up time. Almost, alright. A little bit higher. There we go. And then flip over here. And then... Straight to checkpoint. Nice. There. Nice! <laughs> so yeah, that was, wasn't great execution, but at least I get to show off some cool backups. Alright, this level's one of the most difficult to do consistently. So, fingers crossed. So, here, here, and there. Okay, perfect. Normally this level isn't terrible, but I'm doing it with max stats flash ball, so it's definitely pretty inconsistent. All right, and the ending, let's see if I can get this part. Ah, oh, almost got it, good backup time. There, okay, really good backup. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a launch title and nobody knows about it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Alright. Only level in the game with no crystals. Done. <laughs> also, one of the worst um, ILs to grind in the entire game. <laughs> Back to um, longer and very difficult level. But, um, hopefully I can do it without too many deaths. Alright. Alright, yeah. I'm not gonna... There's pretty risky backup I can go for there. I'm just going to do this. There's a pretty hard skip I can do near the end of the level. I'm going to try once, so let's see if I can get it. Alright, right here. Perfect! And I just finished the level. Nice. And that's Night Town. Cool. <laughs> yeah, there are two. Um, the second one is not really as great for speedrunning, the sequel to this game. Um, personally, at least, I feel. It's just definitely not, the movement is and doesn't feel as good. Like, it's just very, like, difficult to control, even when you get good at the game. But the second game does have, like, a lot of positive things. Like, it has a level editor and has more content in general, so there's, there's good things and bad things. Also, by the way, this is space. Um, the world with basically the longest levels in the game on average, and there's five, only five of them as well. So, um, definitely there's some of the most costly deaths in, in this level if you mess up, but yeah. So, Space B is the shortest of them, has kind of some annoying movement at the start. Oh jeez, yeah. Sometimes it's difficult to manage your movement left or right, because depth perception can be difficult. It's hard to see exactly where you are and if you're if you're moving straight left or right or if you're a little bit angled, it can pr mess you up pretty bad. All right, not bad. All right, Spacey coming up. It's, I think the second longest level in the game. So we'll see. Hopefully, I can do it without messing up too bad. There's a couple pretty cool skips here. So I'll just go jump over here, climb up this way. I lost like over 10 seconds on this level. On my record, um, my full game record, probably the worst death. I had a couple deaths, so it's definitely a level I have to be careful with. By the way, the current full game record for this is a 26:38 by yours truly. Uh, second place is 26:41 by Callum Ball. A lot of you probably know for 
his monkey ball speedruns, uh, among other runs. And I think third place time is like a 33 minute time, so we're basically the two top runners of the game by far. <laughs> Alright, Space D. There's a pretty difficult, a couple pretty difficult skips in this level, and if I die on a couple of them, it's basically the worst place in the game to die on. It's the most costly death. So I'm gonna go for a, a these, uh, sequence of skips once, and if I mess up any of them, I'll just play it a bit more safe. Alright. So, it's this right here. Nice, skip the cannon, and then I get two hard jumps here. So, one here. And I can't see where I'm going for this one, but it doesn't matter. And then final skip here. Ah, oh, I. Okay, backup time. Nice. So, another thing I should mention is this game does not have death planes. Um, if you are in the air for a second and a half, then, without touching any surfaces, then you just die. So that's what happened there. Alright, space E. Time to completely break this level. It's the longest level in the game. But I'm going to be skipping most of it. <laughs> in terms of uh, just by optimally routing way, my way through the level. Alright, there. Jump over here. Jump over here. And reset here. Alright, here's lava. Hopefully I don't die to it. Ah, yeah, okay. That's fine. This level, this level's pretty annoying. Specifically this section. Alright, and now for the, the final few jumps here. Let's see if I can get them all quickly. This one's the hardest. Nice, first try. Ah, uh, overshot that one. That's okay. Nice! Alright, that was pretty good overall. <laughs> Alright, so that was space. Um, one thing I wanted to mention... Oh, crap, I accidentally went mirror. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> don't worry, that's just normal stuff. <laughs> don't worry about it. So, um, essentially, if you start a level, or if you are respawning from a checkpoint, you gain an extra second of invincibility in midair. Which means, basically, if I jump straight after, uh, right after I've respawned or started a level, Instead of having a second and a half in the air before I die, I have two and a half seconds in the air. So at the end of Space E, I kept getting crystals and then resetting and doing giant jumps. Because I had an extra second of invincibility, invincibility to work with. So that's why those jumps work. Um, so yeah, here I'm in the final world of the run. It's secrets. So There's 15 levels here. So I went kind of from... In Space, it's a lot longer, more difficult levels. Then now in Secrets, these are a lot shorter more gimmicky levels, so you saw in that level they just decided, hey, let's just make a flat level with some holes in the stage and put 70 crystals on it, sure. And now I'm just skiing, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <t> <laughs> Alright, and now we're at a dog show. Um, so first we gotta go through some some hoops here. Um, go through a pipe and then do a slalom at the end. So yeah. This world is mostly just about optimizing movement, and there's a couple annoying strats and routes throughout the level. Um, for some of them. So, Secret 5, alright, let's see if I can get this strat, because it's a short level, but it's pretty hard. Alright, 1, 2, 3, ah, I missed the last one. I wanted to get all three of those and then reset. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, come on, save it. Ah, that's okay. Yeah. Here, I was supposed to get that, then go here and finish the level. The individual level for that, um, that level is actually insane. The IL basically goes along all of the fingertips at once, without dying at all, and it's a pretty insane run. By the way, if you're, any of you are curious of any of the IL records for this game, there's a CyberScore page. Um, just look up Sky, CyberScore Kororimpa, and you will find all the IL records with, um, videos, um, a lot of the IELs in this game are actually really absurd. Callum Ball has, uh, I think, like two-thirds of the record in, in this game, and I have about one-third of them. Um, so yeah, he's definitely has pr some pretty insane runs on his YouTube channel. And just to give you a sense of, like... Like, I'm doing a lot of crazy stuff in this run, obviously, but... To give you a sense of how optimally this game could be pushed... Um, so the, the record for this game is like a mid-26, like I said before. Um... If you put all the IL records together, then the time would be about a high tw 21 minute time. By the way, um, 
just motion sickness the level. If you thought this was motion sickness the game, then this is the epitome of that. <laughs> but yeah, so all the IL records put together save about five minutes in the full game run. So, yeah. <laughs> no, that, that level is basically the worst level to play and to watch in the entire game. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Alright, this level is actually has a pretty interesting route, even though it doesn't look like a very cool level, so... Hopefully I can do it pretty well. There. And now, instead of jumping backwards to the right, I've reset, so it's a much easier skip to do. Alright. The pace of this run overall isn't great, but at least I'm showing off a lot of cool things. I thought I was going to die there. That, that's unfortunate, but it's okay. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, no, I... So I routed... Okay, I'll give you a bit of history. When I was playing this game, like, a long time ago, back, like, years and years ago, and I was doing, like, starting off by, like, doing individual levels and trying to, like, improve my times and stuff. Like, I had the CyberScore database as a reference, but, like, I know you made the, someone made the joke before about CyberScore having uh, videos and stuff. Um, there weren't any, there were no videos whatsoever. There was, like, a couple, um, like, I don't know, Pack Attack, um, there was a music called Nick14, and then Miles, also known as Claire, uh, like, current, now known as Claris, um, had all the IL records back in the day. So I basically had to use the times and kind of figure, work through most of the levels and develop routes for myself. So a lot of the routes you see here, I pretty much develop uh, myself or just independently independently of other runners many years ago. Um, probably like, I don't know, like seven years ago, I want to say. <laughs> Something like that. So yeah. Um, I am also was the first person to ever do full game runs of this. <laughs> I started like a few, like maybe four years ago or so. Um, Claris did ILs. Back in the day, no one did full game runs. Um, yeah, I only started, I was the first person to start full game runs like four or five years ago or something. And then, um, a few other people joined in and then Callum Ball started a couple years ago as well. So, yeah. That, that's a bit of a history lesson for you. Also, um, say hi to the Christmas tree and say hi to the Mr. Snowman at the bottom. There he is. Hello. Okay. Alright, so, coming up on the last few stages, this is, um, the dog show, but it's harder now. Um, <laughs> dog show 2, Electric Boogaloo. So, um, now this, this is a bit more difficult. Alright. Good back up there. Slalom here. And then, final section here. Alright, two levels left. Oh boy, okay. It's gonna be like a high 28, I think. Alright. Yeah, it took a while for me to build the consistency to actually, like, get good times for full game. Like, for my first few full runs of this game used to be, or like, in the 50 minute range, and that was after I did a bunch of practicing. And I've slowly lowered it down to, um, where it is now. Callum actually had the record for a while. When I had, like, a mid-28, Callum lowered it all the way down to, like, a mid-26. And then... This, just this year, I picked it back up Dang. to, um, and I was able to take the record back by three seconds, and that's where it stands today. <laughs> Alright, now final level, so get ready for time once I finish this level, should be in about 20 to 30 seconds. Um, I've definitely choked multiple run, uh, PBs to this level before, just because it's pretty difficult, and nerves can definitely play a factor here. No, I clutched it out pretty well on my current record. All right, here. Oh yeah, that's that's where I choke most of my runs. It's because you have to be really careful about not getting thrown off by the angle of this corkscrew. There we go. Yeah. All right, and then get ready for time in a few seconds. And time. All right, that's. That's a low 29. That's all right. I'll take it. <laughs> About two and a half minutes off my record. That's decent, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's Cobra Rimp of Marvel Mania. There's my that that is that is my the game that I have spent very much time optimizing. So yeah, 
thanks for the grats and everything. Uh, if you want to follow me, I'm I'm not probably not gonna be doing many runs um, in the near future, but my Twitch is Yoda underscore Cage. Um, so I'll probably do runs eventually again because I do want to lower the record to a 25 minute time at some point. Um, but yeah, and I have a YouTube and Twitter. You can find them uh, with the Yoda Cage. You know. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to plug. This game is less than 10 runners. Um, if anyone's interested in running the game, because this game deserves more runners, let me know. I know it looks pretty intimidating <laughs> based on the run I just did, but I made a tutorial series for all the worlds. Um, there's a Discord that I can, um, if you go on a speedrun.com page, you can find a link to it. Or you can just DM me. Um, my speedrun.com profile has my Twitter, my Discord, anything. If Just let me know if you're interested in running the game. We can help you get the game. We can help you learn the game. Because this game definitely deserves more runners. It's a sick speed run for sure. So yeah, that's. T I just wanted to plug that. <laughs> if it's too, it's too intim intimidating, no worries. But definitely, if it looks interesting, just let me know. It's, it's definitely. It's one one of the most underrated speed runs out there for sure. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for the grats, everyone. Appreciate it, <laughs> and I'm glad the glad the run went pretty good. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have. So much for the run. Yeah, um, thanks for having me.